Hey everyone, Cynthia here at The Nameless Homestead and it is injection time. It's getting close to kidding season out here. Being in December, normally we our kids are born in January and February. That means that our girls are due for an update on their CDT vaccine. I figured that this was the perfect opportunity to give you guys a much requested video on how to do subcutaneous injections. Now I'm not gonna go over too much about this vaccination uh, specifically. If you would like a video on vaccinations in goats, do hit the like button. Let me know that that's the kind of video you want and I will happily do a deep dive into that. For right now, we're gonna focus on is how to do a subcutaneous injection quickly, correctly, and as painlessly as possible for both you and the animal. Let's get into the barn and get to work. How's everybody doing today? How you doing, Pucky? Do you want some lovins? Who's my stinky boy? Yeah, you ready for some shots? You're due for one too. Oh, look at that waggly tail. When you go to draw up any liquid for any injection, always have two needles. Every single time you use a needle, it significantly blunts it. It is better and easier for the animal and less painful if you draw up with one needle and then inject with a brand new one. Double check my measurements here. This injection is two mil subcutaneously. Pulling at the ground, sister. Ginger is not happy. Draw up a little bit more than you need. Flick out to bring the air bubbles to the top. And then bring the syringe back down to two mils until a little liquid comes out so you know there's no air bubbles in there. this needle, put on the fresh one, that's in my pocket. Now for a subcutaneous injection, that means in between the layers of skin. It's very easy to do subcutaneous injections. You can do them pretty much anywhere on the animal's body in any place where you can get a good tent of tissue. Down by the armpit is a fantastic one. All you need to do is bring up the skin so that it forms like a tent and then you wanna go in at a 45 degree angle into the wall of the tent. Tent the skin right into this space, which is kind of a wall of a tent. You can feel like you would be injecting it into almost a hollow right here when you do. Easy peasy. For this type of injection, it's good to rub the site vigorously. CDT vaccine has a tendency to cause abscesses, which is no big deal. It does not harm the animal, uh, but rubbing vigorously in the area does help to prevent them some. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, consider leaving a comment down below, and don't forget to hit the bell and turn on the notifications so that you can be updated the next time we upload. See you next Sunday. We still friends, Pipes? I love you, little girl. I love you, sweet old lady. Oh, my sweet girl. Yes. Be trying to eat my tripod. Goodness, you're a nuisance.